didn't get a turkey. <laughs> you didn't get a fucking turkey. It's a fucking turkey. <laughs> you <laughs> stupid <laughs> You're one job. Okay, now... Uh, okay, someone say something? I'm a Ooh. monkey and I like to eat bananas. Alright, I think it's fixed. Alex, you should really be careful with fame. What? I, I do like bananas. Alright. Are we ready? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> and so, your, uh, your ship has glided across the narrow sea uh, under the cover of this fog stealth, um, which is Angel's cunning plan, courtesy of the Water Mage, as you've uh, approached the encampment um, of, of, of the, the uh, Baron Cold. So, it, it's late at night, the hills, the, the the whole like coastal side is just lit up with campfires and leather tents as far as the eye can see. In fact, it's hard to even see any trees because most of the woods have been cut down and turned into, into boats. But one thing that does catch your eye almost immediately is this giant man o' war uh, based in, in a, like a built as if it's from Middengard, uh, the docks itself of, of Midland. And this huge vessel it must have about like 64 cannons or something like that and like 32 each side um holds about uh, probably like 300 to 500 crew just an absolute beast of a ship uh compared to all the other um northmen which are more like viking boats however you do not see they have some like almost like battle barges which i guess um uh if you imagine d-day like just square boats with no sail that would be dragged uh by the 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 long ships with sails that would just have men crammed into them. A uh, landing craft, effectively. Yeah. Uh, you see that they've got like a ship right there, so it's um this like dockside where they've they've clearly been manufacturing these uh these these vessels. Uh but yeah, the thing that stands out most to you and what you're currently almost like brushing up against is this this massive man o' war. How's um Aaron doing? Aaron O'Connor. Uh, is it Aaron? Oh, I thought it was Alan for some reason. Uh, he's, he's still maintaining his okay. concentration. Uh, the fog is actually kind of working in his favor because there is a natural fog and it's wintry, like the snow is coming in quite hot and heavy here anyway. So eyesight's pretty pretty poor uh, visually. Uh, luckily for you, most of the, the dock and all the camps are all lit up with uh, torches or braziers and stuff. Uh, however, your vessel itself is obviously in complete darkness. It's Tomway's crew are wearing like winter winter cloaks and are all huddled together weapons drawn just just like in case of an emergency Aaron's at the front um, he, he could very called... well be called Al and Aaron, Angel might have just not learned his name right. no, we'll call we'll Sue Aaron so he's, <laughs> he's at the front maintaining complete and utter concentration um, unwavering don't forget to, he has to... a blanket on him because we kept him nice and warm that's very true that's very true um, you're, you're brushed up against this big uh, man of war uh, what would you like to do are we still moving? No, no, no. You're, you're you're like just floating in the gentle, gentle tide. Okay. Uh, how can I personally ask Aaron how long he can keep himself for? He's deep in concentration. Uh, luckily for us, the weather is in our favour. In fact, I'm doing very little but maintaining a thicker fog around us and dampening the sound. So indefinitely, I, and by that I mean uh he looks like nervously as he, he like licks the snowflakes off his lips. Eight eight hours max. I'd I'd appreciate it if you didn't spend all day there. The the best thing we have in our favor right now is the fact that it's night time. Twenty four hours. Can I give him a wet willy? Yeah? No. Can I uh, suck a Oh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He has to <laughs> expect the unexpected. Not from you. Um. So what's the what's the, uh, what's the play here? Okay, so from what I've not uh, jotted down, at least if I heard or saw correctly, there's about a thousand long ships. There's uh, and one galleon ship that looks like that. it's oh, yeah. from Midgard. Yeah, do, the Man of War. Yeah. Do we think that's enough information to come back just now, or is there more? I mean, I mean but we're meant to. Uh kill the new leader of the men or something. Let me turn you up a little. Oh no. Oh, you've done that so we can't hear. What's it? Okay. Um, the thing is, 
they said, you know, the queen was the demon, and there's going to be like six of them, despite how fantastic I am. I don't know if I could carry you to a victory <laughs> there. Uh, maybe it's better to just leave with the information we have safely. Intel is intel. It's kind of one of those, do I mean, we go balls deep we, or we, not? We, 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 we could at least burn some ships. But it, it's, a, but it's, it's too this, windy, and the rain will it, not It's spread. at this moment, like a big globule, like lands on your shoulder, Angel. And it's like this phlegmy, uh, like spit. And you look up, and there's like a guardsman, just uh, this this one of the crew of the ship, and he's just hawking loogies straight off the, the the side of his ship. Oh, he's not in our crew. No, no, he's on, on the he's above you on the the man of war, like looking down, because obviously their ship's a lot taller than yours. So he's he's just like whoosh, spitting. Can I do a perception check to see if there's anyone else with him? Yeah, roll your perception. Oh my god, stats! Oh, I put them at the front. Uh, my perception is a five. Nice. So oh, fifteen a and up. A three. Yeah. So um, you 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 notice very little. Like snow is going in your eyes. The fog's kind of like, although you're you're, it's like a two, one way mirror, so you can kind of see through it. Um, it the the snow going in your eyes is is too much, and that the bright lights of the the man of war. You can see that there's like shadow figures patrolling along the top of the ship. Mm. Um. And they they are more small in stature. That's about it. You can see. You can, however, hear. Oh. What, what are you doing, Dave? And uh, another figure appears, holding a torch. Dave. Nothing, my I'm just bored. This fog is thick and scary, isn't it? I'll tell you what, I'm not sure about this, but uh, God, I'd do anything to go home. The the older the older guardsman or the oldest. Sailor grunts and then spits another loogie. Uh, Can I dodge? Yeah, narrowly missing Angel. Um, lands between Angel and, and Reiner on the floor. So, yeah. Dodgy, dodgy and scary times, but we swore an oath to the Lord and so we must obey. And if this is how he sees us getting home, we all know Middengard's fucked. The king's lost his marbles. Letting Ansia come in. Oh, they. They've lost track of who we are. We're supposed to be conquering and on soul, like our forefathers did, destroying the elves, not rubbing shoulders with them. And then the younger guards like, oh, "Yeah, you're you're right. You're right. You're right. It's just bloody cold, and I've heard some noises from inside the, the captain's quarters. We were told not to go in there, so just maintain your parole, all right? Patrol, just." Keep an eye out and don't let any of the Northmen scare you. They just put light um, apart. Can, can, can I roll a perception on him and see if I can see specifically looking for any like sigils or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll, I will roll, slyly we'll be getting my chain ready as well. Quiet. What's your perception? Um, so, you, what you can see for certain as these are Midland men, uh, they are 100% not Northmen. They are like five foot eight to six foot tall. Uh, they're wearing uh, winter cloaks, but their armor is visible. You don't recognize it yourself. Uh, it's not an armor or sigil you've come across. So it's like two mermaids back to back, um, which is also you're now noticing is on the front, like carved in wood of the Man War. Um, and the sails themselves have had their markings taken down, so the only thing that could, you could identify is these these guards' uh, uniform, armor, whatever you want to call it. Um, you notice there's about 14 of them patrolling. They've got like a breastplate and halberds with like a, a potted helm, and then winter cloak and boiled levers and stuff. But you also notice there's about six Northmen, as far as you can tell. Two are off the ship and by like the ramp that leads to the dock and four have their backs to you and they're kind of huddled around a brazier on the very uh like north side of the vessel uh okay can i turn somewhere um somewhere do you uh explosives say again do you have any explosives on this boat 
She looks at you, looks at the ship, looks back at you. Only the arrows given to you by Tink. Nothing else that we can use to blow up this ship. We have no cannons, unfortunately, on this on this ship. However, she looks up and there's like loads of ports on the um the man of war. Currently, most of them are sealed, except for a handful. I'm guessing they've got cannons, and if where cannons are, there must be gunpowder. Angel. Um. So my theory is uh they have a uh, meeting here to select the next king of the men. One would assume there's a law from Middengard here. There is a high possibility that that might be him. I say we could just cut our losses, sneak on board, blow up the man of war, therefore hopefully killing the Lord too, and then fuck off out of here. Ooh, that does sound insane, but most things we do is insane. I mean, my plan, how, how tall are you? Um, I mean, six one, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not tall. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, size, so not exactly. no, I was thinking I'd get my chain. I would yank that guy who spat on me down here, interrogate <laughs> him, then we put his cloak oh, on, and sake. then you go upstairs and join their ranks. Something along that. I hadn't thought further than that. But maybe we could combine the tactics. Get him, yank him down, steal his gear, then sneak onto the ship with the gear, and then blow it up. Isn't he a watchman though? Won't someone notice that he's gone? There's a very good chance that might happen. Tom Boy's kind of standing there as you guys whispering, and she she looks towards the climbing gear that's still out on the on the on the table on the ship. And she's like, "You could climb the side of the ship." Can I just out of character real quick? Is this the yeah. big galleon ship that looks like the Middengard ship that we're next? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a man of war, so it's slightly bigger yeah. than a galleon. So yeah, this is definitely like there. There's something about this ship that they're gonna try and integrate. In. It so definitely we're shouldn't be here. If we're gonna take anything it out, it'll be this one. A traitor in our midst, clearly, or they've pirated the ship, perhaps. Well, I mean, does anybody know the lords of Alan Soul? Because I can see a sigil. Would they all like shake their head? Fuck. Uh, Angel, Angel might recognise it. To be fair, right, Angel. Uh, yeah, it depends. Intelligence check. Yeah, two mermaids. Do an intelligence check. They're like if Angel ever paid attention. attention. This is the first cool. time we've ever done an intelligence roll. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna start popping off now. Intelligence. That was okay. So my intelligence is a seven, and I rolled a ten. Uh, you're for sure. Um, but you identify it enough to know it's definitely a house in Middengard. I might have robbed that once. Um, can, can we talk? Can we ask, is it Adam? Is it what? Is it Adam? 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 The guy oh, that's doing the fucking... Alan? Aaron. But we, Aaron. No one Aaron. knows his name. <laughs> He's Alan, Adam, and Aaron. <laughs> It's funny because we were the only thing to that, shout his name. The only thing session. that is, is he's, a, he's an oak heart. Yeah, yeah, let's ask uh, oak heart. It, his eyes are closed. He's trying to maintain concentration. Whisper. Um, uh, Aaron. Yes. Um, oak heart. Oak yes. heart. Yes. Oak you heart. Uh, I can hear you all, you're, you're all standing right next to me this entire time. What do you want? Uh, what's, what's the sigil? What lord is this? Two mermaids. It must be Lake Town. Lake Town was oh. recently destroyed and abandoned due to a curse. Uh, most of their people oh. are refugees. The current lord has been shamed by the king. If this is his vessel, oh. then he's clearly seeking some sort of vengeance or a coup d'etat. To join up with the enemy. They love coup d'etats, don't they? Everybody. Um, can, can, I, can I look at Andrew and be like, um, we've been to Lake Town, haven't we? No. No. We not. Oh, is that Rumor Town? We, we went to Lumber Town. That was the Lumber place Town. Scary oh, okay. Okay. In Ancio, this is in Midgard. <laughs> okay, how about this? I did this once before. I went on a ship and I killed everyone on it quietly. Let's start with that. If they're all okay, dead, we'll just sneak on the ship and blow up the ship and then leave. But blowing up one ship isn't really that big of a deal. Okay, we get it's... on the ship, we take the cannons, we start firing the cannons into the crowds, then we leave. Blow up the ship on the way out. 
God, if we must blunt, why don't we take the shield? <laughs> You don't, have a crew, you don't have a crew big enough Bad, to up. I, I agree to your plan. As long as we blow up the ship. I feel like all of this is just insane. We came here for intel and we've got it. I don't want to blow up the ship. Tomboy looks again at the, the climbing gear. Why don't you climb aboard, identify the Lord, identify who's at this meeting, and then we can escape quietly. Like the ship there. In the pop bottom half of my screen, the NPC, because we've been standing in this area too long. <laughs> Objective. <laughs> <laughs> How about we climb the ship <laughs> yeah. with this climbing gear that's glowing on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> it's on the table right next <laughs> Hold X. <laughs> uh, I'm going to huh. pick up the climbing <laughs> gear. <laughs> you, uh, it's the same climbing gear you used before. It's like claws on your feet. Uh, on your, They attach to the front of your boots. And like almost like tiny little Wolverine claws that allow you to climb. How much gear is there? Uh, there's two two climbing gears. So it's us two. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Wait, wait, wait. Are we, are we killing everybody? Or are we just sneaking? We'll sneak through? on. See how many there are. If we can kill a few, great. If oh, not, those big bosses are very hard to kill. Maybe for you. <laughs> Not the face! A flashback happens back at Skyle. Not the face! Not the face! <laughs> okay. We could kill everybody by just blowing off the ship. Okay, we're stuck. We'll try and blow up the ship first. Because okay. that so, kill everyone. Yeah, let's, let's sneak on first, get some okay, intel. One step at a time. So, Tamoy hands you two masks to cover your identity again. Uh, there are two for you to choose from. One is like a devil with little horns. Uh, and one is like a, uh, it's called like a, it's almost a c c yeah, they, but there's both. So it's a full body one and then just a, a mouth one, which is like a kind of long, like wizard's nose kind of thing. Right. Like you, a, a, a horns. you should wear that one. <laughs> right. Well, one. takes the one with the, the horns. He's wearing the devil's mask. All right, I'll take the other one then. <laughs> Angel puts on the, uh, like, jester, I guess it would be the joker Ooh. mask. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, what color is and it? That's, uh, they're both like dark, really dark wood red. Okay. Mahogany. Ooh, mm, um, mahogany. So as you start like preparing yourself to climb, it's, it, the, the first thing you could easily grab onto is like where the cannon holes are. There's only a couple open, um, but there, there'll be some time where you have to actually use a climbing gear. So uh, I mean, if you break in through the cannon hole. Uh, well, it's, I mean, it's about <laughs> like this, but if you're a cat, yeah. Not, not normally. Uh, they're, they're not they're big uh, enough that you can fit in as well. I feel like they're not. I feel like they're about this this big. I mean, possibly a, a child could scoot through. Uh, I think no, it's whatever you say the boat is. If you say we can't, uh, it's, you 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 definitely can't scoot through. You can put uh, your arm for it. I'll give you that. All right. Um, as so, uh, who wants to go first? Oh no, I'm on about the like the latch. Yeah, I was thinking no, no. what you were thinking where it goes. Kong opens up and then you can climb. Yeah, through. but no, 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 no. I'm talking about where you put the the barrel of the gun through. Uh, who goes um, first? I'll go first. Yeah, do you want to roll a dex for me? I've got the better dex, though. But I'm better looking. I suppose I'd accept you if you fall. Shit. Uh, what was it? Well, my dex is a nine, and I rolled a two. <laughs> Can I okay, catch so, him? As uh, you slide, you, you put your first hand in, and then, like, the latch closes on the cannon, and you just hit this... Uh, like, on you, my you fingers. To, yeah, you managed to stifle... Uh, actually, roll for me. Roll for me. Uh, <laughs> Just roll a, roll a dice, I'll, I'll say. Seven. You go... <laughs> and, like, Alan concentrates even harder and, like, covers you a little bit with the, with the cloud. And you slide down slowly after that and, like, appear in front of uh, Reiner. Oni's there, like, um, he helps you down slowly. He's like, oh, angle. As he, like, lowers you back to the boat. <laughs> can, 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 I, can I grab a piece of rope? There's yeah. only rope on the board. Yeah, there's plenty, okay. plenty of rope on the board. I'll lead. <laughs> Roll a dex. I will a dex. 17. Okay, easily. Reiner, like his wood elf, uh, ate, like, all the time he's climbing through trees, he's just scaling up with it and like occasionally wrapping a piece of rope around like a, a exposed barrel of a cannon or something like that. Uh, so Angel, you get a, a bonus four to your dex while climbing um, okay. because you're coming behind him. I'm going to look to Aaron and be like, why did you make it so slithery? All right. Uh, so my dex is a nine, and I rolled plus, a plus four. No, sorry. 
My roll is a seven, but my deck, oh, okay, yeah. dex is a nine. So I guess, yeah. Ten. Eleven. So, yeah, yeah. So you, you climb easily. Um, You do, actually roll, both of you roll perception for me while you climb as well. How does, with stats, like, what, what does, how does this work with our roll and our stat? Uh, so basically, if you've got a nine, if your stats is a nine, you want 11 plus. So 20 being the best. Uh, whereas if you've got 10, you just want a 10 plus. So do you if always want to If my perception is an 8. If your perception is an 8, you want a 12 plus. Alright, I got 11. Yeah. I, got, I got a well, 9 and my perceptions are 5. Uh, well, it depends if you want to count 1 as your d20, because I always feel like rolling d20 is cooler than rolling a 1. But if it's easier for you to do the math by saying 1 is your your best and 20 is your worst, it's up to you. Well, no, 20 is your best. Sure. 20, 20 is the best. That's classic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, what you can see, so, uh, Rhino, what you can see, first of all, is uh, loads of people are asleep. You see loads of swinging hammocks as you pop your head through the portholes, and they're like, to be able to pop. Yeah, but a, a couple hundred people fast asleep swinging. Ooh, uh, you see, a, and then you see a couple people awake, and they're like drinking some coffee, you must assume, uh, playing cards, or maybe it's brandy or ale or whatever, and they're just absolutely not paying you any mind they're just dimly lit on a table on the other side of the ship um as you're climbing uh angel you'll you'll see basically none of this <laughs> except yeah. maybe the people playing cards because they're lit up um you you're getting closer and closer to the deck now the poop deck and you can hear uh quite a heated discussion coming from the captain's quarters so the captain's quarters is like an entire apartment on the bow or the rear of the ship the bow of the ship even has its own balcony, uh, private balcony and, and like deck area. Uh, so that's coming up if you if you're going to veer slightly right. No choice is yours. Did I notice this? You both did, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just. Um, that sounds like something we should listen to. Read. Let's. Can we try and sneak over till we can hear? Yeah, yeah. So um, Rhino continues uh, like leading the way. Uh, the two guards that spat on you are now on top of the captain's deck. Um, they can't see you. They're, they're just in a heated discussion about like how vigorous they want to make love to a woman, and uh, they're, they're hating this this trading mission that they're on, and they're like giggling as they talk about it. Um, I have a plan. And, and they're talking about like the North women, and they're like how they're big, tall, strong, broad women. Uh, but you're coming up to the the private deck of the captain area. Can we? Uh, about me. Gonna... Angel, we should uh, kill them and then we'll take their cloaks and lower their bodies down to our ship so we can sneak around a bit more easily. Yes, they're small than we can be spat on me. They're perfect for two. Right. <laughs> we, uh, so you wanna, you've want to? you got to keep it. climbing up, yeah? Well, yeah. do we Probably have to go like past the room we want to listen to to do it? Yeah, yeah, you'll okay. climb past it because out. it's on top. Hear me out. Can we listen for a little bit? in case it goes wrong, so even if it goes wrong, we've heard some stuff. He might spill on you again. I think it's a risk worth it. Have a, okay. Let's listen for like 10 seconds and see if there's anything oh, interesting. It's okay, it's fine, 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 we can listen. So, um, as you, you climb up, it's this beautiful uh, stained glass window on the on this captain's apartment. It's it's this like red piece and has the beautiful sigil of the two mermaids uh, back to back. And it's, uh, it's, it's very, upper class you know even even the the wood here is kind of gold leaf so kind of shining um in the brilliant cold uh, uh angel roll in... an intelligence check why well upon seeing the actual at crest instead of me describing it he might well, immediately another... be like oh i do know it uh well you my... know it from now you, you know now aaron told um, us was aaron time. told you oh yeah it's just shit my memory oh can um, and so inside the, you, you can see quite clearly through, it's, it's very well lit. Uh, there's a, like a whole fire burning, all the torches are there, the braziers. You see that there's a beautiful library, and so like a small but beautiful library inside of it. Um, a big round table takes your first and immediate attention. And adjourning this round table are goblets of uh, uh, some sort of drink, I imagine. Plates have been uh, put out, it's got a nice little tablecloth over it. Um, inside you can see that the table is uh has multiple chairs facing around it with only one person currently sitting at it and they're this scrawny uh nervous guy in this this very like over the top cloak collar like 
shining with with all these jewels. He's got rings all over his fingers, um, a, a heavy like medallion, uh, this beautiful unscathed breastplate, uh, and a and a rapier at his hip. Uh, and he's like nervously um, drinking this this goblet of wine as his fingers tap across this this heavy table. Behind him is a, a curtained off bed, um, a lavatory, and a desk area. However, the first thing that comes to your mind, the the first thing you spot uh, after the table, is multiple mirrors. So that these huge mirrors have been gathered around the table, all facing the back of the seats, save for the guy who's currently in his seat. Can I? Can I? Can I nudge Angel? Like, yeah. It's it's the meeting area. This is where they're meeting. <laughs> That's why we're uh, and uh, you, you, you see that all, of all the mirrors, they've all been decorated separately or differently. Uh, so both of you, uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll say, I'll say, because I feel like you, because your perception rolls have been quite bad. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Roll it. Roll a perception for That's me. That's the point, not the end of the day. Roll a perception for daddy. Oh, I got a three. <laughs> I got a four. <laughs> all right, well. But my perception's uh, a five. Well, do you want one to be your highest or 20? I don't understand. No, so, 20, 20 is the highest. 20, 20, the highest. 20, is, 20 is the highest, so you effectively want to minus your number off 20 and you need that or, or above. Right. So if, if you've got 5, you need 20 minus 5, which is 15, so you need a 15 plus gotcha. to pass. Gotcha. Okay, um, that does make sense. Yeah, so, so basically, what. So th what, what you can see, I'll, I, actually, I'm going to give you a bonus because the lights are on, so you can re roll. Advantage. Yes. Out of oh. piss here. Yeah. I oh rolled a oh, 13. Oh. God, we're so on par. Oh. Yeah. Alright, nice. Okay. Um, so, what you can see is that these multiple mirrors have been laid out. The first and foremost, which is almost opposite you, is this massive, over at the top, extravagant gold framed one. So, like, the, the light is bouncing off it, and you're, you're almost kind of blinded by it. And at the top of the mirror is this purple waste stone that's been shoved into it. Very similar to the waste stone that Scribbles had. And it's kind of like pulsating every so often is it and cracked? lighting up. Uh, the, the mirror and the waste no, stone. The no. waste... Oh, they're both fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And next to that, another mirror. This time it has this like, it's this red wood, not too dissimilar to your mask, this, this like red stained wood with black ivy almost growing over it. It looks like it's been plucked out of a forest somewhere. Again, with a waste stone in it. Then there is the, the nervous, uh, overly dressed man. Then the back of a mirror you can see, which is um, this like stone or like almost uh, iron marble, I guess would be the best way to describe Like almost burnt stone or burnt marble. I think that's the best way to describe it. Next to that is this plain wood mirror. Completely plain. Nothing is ornate about it whatsoever, except it's the tallest and most slender. And there is a single, like, leaf pattern on its back of lapis lazuli. So, quite blue crystal or blue stone. Then, there's another seat. Empty, although a man is standing. Huge, hulking man. He must be about six foot five, six foot six, broad. Covered in boiled leather and iron, his plodrons are huge. He has a long sword at his hip, but more importantly, he's leaning on a very tall Dane axe. His hair is brought back into a tight ponytail, big bushy beard, and he's missing one eye, where like something seems to be growing out of it, almost like a tendril. His other eye is quite dim, but still, you know, observant, and he has horrible scars all across his face. Uh, including quite a bad, like, drag across that, that gaping eye. Um, I have a plan. But actually, yeah, think about it. I feel we need to move. We might need to move quite quickly. Um, so. Have they said anything? I thought we were going to try and listen for a second, weren't we? Did we I not feel hear? like we, we, we don't want to hang around here too long. Because my fear is... As soon as, uh... Scratches at his neck. Right, where the, uh, burn is. Um, as soon as he shows up, he's gonna know we're here. So I say, 
we get all the gunpowder that's downstairs, move it out of the wetness directly under the, um, the meeting point, fuck off, and then as soon as everybody meets, I can fire an explosive arrow at the back, therefore sparking the gunpowder inside and blowing the whole fucking thing up. Sounds good to me. Right. I say we move quick though, because we want to set up. Can I uh, have do a quick intelligence roll to see if I know something about waste turns? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I rolled a 16 and my intelligence is 5. Yeah, uh, okay, so, what, so what I wanted to know, uh, unless you're about to tell a bunch of stuff, is no. whether waystones, because in my experience, every time we've got one, we have to think carefully about where we want to go, and it takes us there. Mm. What I'm trying to see if I know is whether or not there's some that can be set to go places, because there was three different ones, whether or not potentially Lake Town, like these guys are going to go and touch it, and then they will teleport to Lake Town and attack from the other side. Well, they came back by boat. So um, the waystones you can see are, are quite small. Uh, they're very much like pocket size, like the one Lulin had um, and the one that Scribbles has got. So they can only take so many people uh, in comparison to the one at um, Lunas's house, which was obviously a massive, almost like meteorite sized waystone, which has vanished. Um, this, these waystones have been corrupted. Right. Very similar. And you, you almost have flashbacks of it. Uh, of the, the shape especially of a similar frame that you were shown uh, during the king's moot of the dwarven holds it's that fucking bitch the dwarven bitch well she she's whether it's her or not you don't know but you do know that those are corrupted waystones like scribble and scribbles has taken you there before angel yeah. to that big chamber full of multiple multiple um, way gates mm. And all of them had the exact same waystones in them. Though none of them were mirrors, they were actual archways of stone. And so you're well aware that those themselves can bring forward entities, but you don't know much about corrupted waystones, whether or not there's an A and a B, and you travel between the two, or if it's like Luland's where you have to think. Right. All you know is Scribbles has one and he has no control of it. Do I know if they're durable? I mean, one got cracked, so this explosion could destroy a bunch of useful portals for them. That's good. Uh, they're, they're durable to a degree, but yeah, you are aware that they can be destroyed. Okay. I think let's go with your plan. But I also want to listen to see if there's anything they say just before we go, which is what I ideally wanted to do the first time. Are they so talking you're, you're kind at of, all? So they're, they're not currently being... They're, as as you listen in, you like press your ear against the stained glass. That's quite cold to the touch. Um, you hear the iron boots of the the Dane axe man. They are late. The nervous man looks up. Oh well, maybe we're early. No, they are late. They are always late. And your mead tastes like shit. Your wine, awful. I was. Disappointed, Midgard is meant to have fine vineyards, and like the nervous guy, it's almost like, kind of like a, a puffing up his chest or like a peacock, he stands up, and he's like, "How dare you, sir? I'll have you know that I have one of the finest vineyards in my collection." As he's doing this, can I turn to Reiner and go, "I'm pretty sure they're gonna get a little bit rough. Now might be the time to kill those guys while they make noise downstairs." <laughs> Sneak. As you start climbing up, you're like, you, if they're like looking at each other from the table and the camera's looking at the window in the background, you just see like <laughs> your little legs like sliding past them. What was that? It must have been the wind. <laughs> he turns back. Did somebody you, steal um... your sweet roll? <laughs> hey, stop there. As you uh, as you as you come to like the top of the, the captain's quarters, you see um, you know, that the wheel is and uh or the the back the the wheel of the ship. Um, the two men are there, kind of gathered around a brazier, warming up their hands. Oh my god. Hey, <laughs> you, you're finally awake. Uh, as you're like warming up your hands to the brazier, uh, they're warming up their hands to the brazier. They're, they're, they're far smaller than that big iron monster you saw downstairs. Oh, fucking hell, Dave. I want to go home. We're not made for this weather. Even when winter comes, it's nothing like this. How these people can gather such a force. 
I have heard that this is the entire. Wait, that's not. Can we start it. sneaking? Yeah, yeah. You're, I imagine you're sneaking, and they're just so I'm focused gonna get on my each hidden other. Blade. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've uh, heard they gathered oh the God. entire their entire people. Ah. Oh. I feel like we're being watched. Can we can we can we at that point kind of <laughs> scramble yeah, for? Roll. I want to use my knife. I want my knife. My short sword. Roll a roll a dex both of you with advantage. So re-roll if it if you if it's a one. Ooh, that was a two. Eleven. Ooh, and a sixteen. No, my dex like is a nine. Yeah. What's your what's your dex, Ryan? Oh, fourteen. All right. Well, Happy easily. Days. So. Uh, the, the first guy turns around and as he turns around, Angel's blade just goes straight through his chin and out into his brain and he immediately goes oh, limp like leaning onto uh, the second guy, he, he sees this but before he can even react uh, knife through his yeah. your short sword, so you just go short sword, sorry. <laughs> all the way through, all the way to the point where the hand, right, the hand guard's there and just the blade through the top of his skull his helmet's balancing, this metal helmet's balancing slowly on on top of the point of the sword. Is Dave okay, still like, like, slightly slowly alive? lower down and like grab the helmet? <laughs> yeah, you, you he's delicately no noise, alive? mate. So is Tom? Is Dave alive at all? Or is no, he definitely you, you both pierced their brains. Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, we can grab one on the way back. It's fine. Uh, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I then like tie them both up in our rope? Ooh, While yeah, he does that, I'm going to keep lookout. Yeah, yeah, well, nice. yeah we obviously take take the cloaks as well because that's the main thing that we wanted. Yeah. yeah. That's, um, a, that's, a, that's a, as you're as you're like wrapping them up together and you're dressing these cloaks, you hear like a fud from downstairs in the captain's quarters. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna ignore that and keep doing what I'm doing. Um, they can I are you lowering the bodies? Well, no, I was gonna lower the body a little bit so it's not on the deck. Nice. But I'm not gonna drop them the whole way because okay. um, I think that might the, go from the window. Just this, like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> sliding. You know the the fake Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just <laughs> sliding down, like leaving a trail of blood as these two dead guys. Are... I just like the, the, the boots just the rubber of the we soles were... just scraping. I thought we were gonna lower them onto our ship. Well, yes, but um, there's a window there. It's there. Yeah, we're to just hide them off the. Yeah, okay. Should we? Uh... You are. Uh, which, which which side are you throwing them off then? I'm not throwing them off. Like literally, just well, the way we came up, like the back end of the ship. I want to make it as discreet as possible, so I'm basically hiding them off the. So if someone walks up and goes, "What are the bones?" They don't go, "Oh, there's yeah. a rope there." Shit ton of blood on the floor. No, it's nothing. <laughs> Is there a load of blood on the floor? Uh, it's a little bit. <laughs> Can we maybe lump them in a corner like they're sleeping? Can I? Can I? Can I piss on the blood? <laughs> just without their cloaks on, arms around each other, <laughs> well, like just sixty nineing in the we background. We can the burn it on yeah, the wheel. Yeah. Oh, they're just sleepy. They're just so sleepy with that fucking half of their face missing. The sword went through. All right, we won't do that. Yeah. Tired of them hanging down. Um. Right. Can I? Can I piss on the blood? Yeah. Wink it out. It's cold. cold. I'm just gonna get a quickly piss. Just like that. Uh, roll a it? roll of charisma to see if you get stage fright. How small oh, is right, it? Yeah. I want to do a perception check. Oh, <laughs> nat twenty. Uh, Rhinef has no fear. He just whips out and pisses extremely loudly on the wooden <laughs> floor in front of you, <laughs> staring you dead in the eyes, Angel. He, he, he has no stage fright. You know when you're like scared at a urinal? He has none of that. Well, he's just looking. He's like this. That makes sense with the perception because I rolled a 17 and I've got a 5. You can't, <laughs> just, you can't miss that. He, he's pissing so hard it's like on your boots a little no, bit. No, I'm it's stepping just, back, like... not on my air boots. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake and finish as long as like the butt's kind of just being... Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's now just gonna... piss. <laughs> <laughs> That's just gonna... Why? It piss smells. <laughs> Gonna look to him without this case. God, so you're you now disguised as. Oh, oh I one second. Light from my feet. I'm just now. Wall and help Pudge <laughs> off from barking. Oh. Uh, fucking Adventures of Angel and Rhino. I know. <laughs> hey, Tom. Hmm. Sorry, 
Just, yeah. <laughs> You've got balls. Literally. Um, Damn straight balls. So we're going to go downstairs, put the gunpowder under the meeting room. How are you going to shoot an arrow through the boat? In that you're going to use it because you don't have a siege boat. Expl they're explosive arrows. Yeah, but how are you going to shoot them from outside? Well, even if I shoot one at the side of the boat, it should explode enough to explode the barrels. If it might be, it might have to be two, so I might give one to tow away and get us to both shoot at the same time. So I break the hole, and then she shoots the dynamite or not. Yeah. Um, got a So yeah, you, you're on top of you're on the very tallest point, other than the crow's nest. You've got the the enemy's cloaks on. You right. kind of wrapped yourself up a little bit, put the hoods up, whatever. We're gonna start do do? heading down to go below the meeting room. So I assume. We'll um, so as you descend stuff. from across, like the the where the wheel is below you is the captain's quarters. Uh, you see, oh, there before are two we get more... too far, can I can I literally just nudge you and be like, I, I'm not very good at talking, so you do the talking. If anybody talks to us, remember we're trying to keep the cum powder dry. As you um, okay. so as you descend the, the the first set of steps to now the poop deck, uh, oh, the, wait, there are two. No should we take our masks off? They're very suspicious. Yeah, probably a good idea. Yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> as you descend, oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> just a devil horns like a Joker mask. As as you descend, there are two Northmen either side of the the meeting quarters. Cloak up. Um, they've got long swords at their hips, cloaks, and they're they're basically just like. Covered in head to toe in furs, almost uh, drinking from a hip like a hip skin or like um, a flask made of deer skin or whatever, and they're they're just drinking deeply and passing between them. They they look at you and they just go. Ugh. I don't acknowledge yeah. that. Uh, keep going. Back. Uh, you you keep walking in the same like pattern, which is that these two guards that you killed were circling the ship. Uh, you see that there are two more Northmen at the very end of the ramp onto the docks. Uh, standing around a brazier, these men have spears, and then there are two more Northmen on the ship, uh, looking on the other, like the front of the ship, facing down towards you. Other than that, there are some guardsmen that will recognise you if you get too close to them. However, they're <coughs> very much, you know, Lake Town men, so they're they're kind of cowering by the, from the cold, uh, trying to avoid the Northmen as much as possible. Um, and then in the centre of the ship, there is the stairs uh, descending below deck. Make our way towards the stairs. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. As you descend, you see um, the group of people that are playing cards. Uh, oh, is it is it our turn for watch already? How many of them are there? There's four playing can cards. I, can I, can I, like, like, I just, just grab some food and we're back out there. All right, we we got some we got some lamb pie still. Uh, some peas. What 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 you're after? The chef stands up. He, Big belly as he walks over and like kind of looks in these pots and stirs them together. I'm gonna, I'm gonna down here. grab Rhino just a little bit and go, you know, we don't have time for that. Piss break the back. And I'm gonna start leading him away. Uh, all right, well, your food's here when you're ready and just let us know when it's our turn for watch. So we're just playing cards with the boys. As like we the three up guards. Start walking away, I'm gonna go, they recognize, they'll recognize that they're not the same person, you idiot. And uh, I start leading him away. Uh, okay, so now there are plenty oh, of sleeping quarters. <laughs> There's plenty of sleeping quarters. Loads of cat like rooms and um, all the, like doors. Uh, loads of doors leading to multiple rooms, uh, and another set of staircase. Well, another staircase going below. Well, would you like to but continue below, whatever. Just uh, to make sure my brain's correct here, are we currently below the meeting room where we are? No, no, no the you're below the center floor. of the ship. No, no, you're not. The meter room floor is the one on poop deck. All oh, right. So you're at the top where the wheel is. You mm -hmm. go down the stairs, the poop deck. Yeah. And then you've gone downstairs again into the like the hull, I guess it would be. So where, from like, the, the hull, sleeping quarters. Can we walk that way so that we'd be yeah. underneath yeah, the yeah. meeting room? There's some storage area that way, but yes. Okay, and we get a general idea from like when we get there. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. That um, like we can hear footsteps upstairs. This might be the right place. Yes. Great. What do we see in this room? Uh, loads of the people playing cards um, oh. are behind you now. So there, there's a load of sleeping people, um, and there is a big heavy door which is like below the captain's quarters. 
So there's a big door blocking where we want it to be. Yeah. Can we go up to it and listen whether there's anything on the other side, noise-wise? Uh, the the people playing cards are kind of like looking at you every so often. Uh, but no, there is no, there's no, there's no sound. The chef kind of walks over and is like, "Where are you boys going? If you need a piss, the lavatory's the other end." I don't know, I'm thinking they always getting confused and start heading that way. He like suspiciously watches you walk by. Can I walk to the lavatory? Yeah, yeah. So you you try a couple more doors and you find the lavatory. It's very small. It smells awful. All right. Well, uh, I might as well have a pee as well. Uh, roll uh, charisma. To see if you get stage fright. Um. Well, charisma. Wow, my charisma. I'm such a dumbass. That's drab it. Uh. So I've got a ten and I rolled a five. Uh. Okay. So you 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 don't go. You you try. You try. You like. And then you, you get that awkwardness because uh, you know Ryan is just behind like, you. Barge out, barge him out of the way and go for another piss. <laughs> My God, you're empty. You're so empty after that aggressive right. twenty. I I will take yeah. disadvantage. I rolled All a seventeen right. on my first one. Uh, a fifteen on my second. Okay, <laughs> well, you managed to squeeze a little bit more out. However, from trying so hard, you also let out a really loud fart. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. I, I'm going to laugh, and that should hopefully break the tension. Uh, you're both in a very small lab. You're in the same single stall lavatory, <laughs> side by side, as this chef's kind of like... He he actually just thinks that you guys are, you know, yeah. gay sailors. So yeah. he uh, he just shakes his head and sits back down. Okay, I'm going to look nose to nose with Reiner in the smoky one. Reiner's dick is still out, though, remember? <laughs> okay. Right, that this isn't going very well. <laughs> There's a big door in the way, and that chef is uh, causing trouble. What the Say fuck we go down thing? one more floor. Okay. We, we could, but we could possibly kill the chef and lock him in the lavatory. I don't know. What is it you killing people in the catering business? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, I don't like chefs. It's the knives. <laughs> All right. Right, uh, right. I had a dream. He was carved up once, and now he <laughs> hates them. All right. We'll try and. Well, let's wait here like two minutes so that we sell the story. Oh, uh, I, I don't. I don't know. That's we, we need to be quick. Remember. Okay, one. We want to get. Okay. Why don't we just make some groans? Oh. Pretend that we, we did it really quick. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Uh, there's, there's a knock at the door. Oh, hello. All right, boys, come on. You're on, you're on watch. Yeah, a couple of smooches here and there ain't bad, but not, not the whole shebang. Sorry, it's Irish. I forgot. Sorry, sorry. We'll be on a second. Can, can we, can we open the door? Is, is it the chef? Yes, yeah, the chef. Yeah. Can I roll a perception to see if anybody else can see us right now? I'll point my uh, at the door left and right. No, no, the the, the, the three ga gather around the cards table are like down a corridor and are still um, playing quite intently. Like, shove my hand over his mouth and like pull him into the If store. he does that, then I'm going to have to hit and play him. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rhino, you roll a strength, and Angel, you roll a dex. Alright, my dex is a nine, and I rolled an eight. Oh, fuck. Uh, Rhino, what's your strength? What's your strength? <laughs> oh, my strength is a nine. And you rolled a five. <laughs> okay, so you stumble as you he, he like pulls back. You like slam his head into the, the the wall opposite, and because of that, Angel's hip knife misses and just nicks his artery instead in his leg. Ooh. And so blood just starts going like spraying all over you both. As he's like oh. <laughs> Like struggling to 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 get your hand off his mouth, he 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 clocks you on, and you take uh uh one day, so you'll lose one AP. As he like kind of knocks you out, so your next right. roll will have a disadvantage. Does that mean I'm free to do one more thing? Yeah, yeah. Can I try and slice back from the throat, pulling my arm back with the blade across his neck? <laughs> uh, roll a dex with advantage. So uh, re-roll you need. Okay, great. Uh, so we got a 12 and a 3, so 12. Okay. Can, I, can I try and catch the body after 
he's done that as well. He's big. Uh, so you, you slice his throat and the, the groaning... Oh, wait, actually, I guess because his hand would be up there. So you just about slice his throat without hitting Reiner. Um, and he he's, he slowly starts like... <laughs> more blood is just spraying like, all over Reiner. Frank put him into the bathroom. <laughs> Like out of his leg, because there's like a very large vein in his leg you've nicked, and his neck. There's just blood going all over Reiner as he's like. Can I just sliding. start stab 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 it? Just <laughs> prison style. Uh, Reiner, what's your strength? Right, uh, roll a strength for me with a disadvantage, so you had to take the lowest roll. Fifteen and fourteen. Okay, fine. You you manage to catch him before his bum hits the floor, and because his boots are just sliding as all his strength, <laughs> he's slowly going grey as his liters of blood are pouring out <laughs> and i like 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 quickly just move him into the toilet shows shut the door and uh yeah you you, you shut the door the, the hallway is really dimly lit so you can just about make out each other's facial expressions angel rhino looks up at you and he's just red <laughs> with blood there's so much blood on the floor at your feet just, and just, like, just give her like a whack out my car <laughs> your dick's still dim, out like, <laughs> yeah, your penis is still out as well. It's just so red. Everywhere is red. And behind the door God, so is the fat body of the chef, and like blood is just slowly pouring out the gap in the bottom of the, oh, God, the stool door. Major, I need you to step up here. <laughs> I, I killed it. Piss. <laughs> you were the one who dragged him in. Anyway, fuck, this is not going well. Let's just go up to those three guys, kill them, and then open the door. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so they're, they're so they heard none of it, they're so distracted. Um there's about a hundred men sleeping around you as you walk over to them. Uh they're all they're all gathered around the table like oh damn I'm gonna I'm gonna raise, I'm gonna go all in here. Skull and bones it. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm gonna walk up to them and be like <laughs> I like Hey fellas, where's the chef? Oh he was Oh, he just went to the bog, I think. Oh, right. You smell... You smell blood. Oh, sorry. Is this can, I, can, can I, can I, like, using my red face, which is probably quite How they smell dark blood point, from the kind of the sneak into the shadows. Leaders, <laughs> and leaders, leaders all over right. <laughs> I'm gonna go... Maybe we should check he's okay. See if one of the guys one stands of up. Oh, he's too bloody hell. He's, he might have nicked himself when he's cooking. Uh, one guy stands up, turning and seeing Reiner in the <laughs> shed. His red face. Does he not have to do a perception check? You won't see me. It's dark. It's oh, dark. true. true I true. assumed you would have gone a different oh. way. Hold on, hold on. He failed his perception, so he, he, he doesn't take a torch and he doesn't really see it. Uh, he, he follows Angel towards the hallway. <laughs> lead him towards Reiner. Oh, <laughs> no, no, can, can, can I like sneak around? I want to try and sneak to the door. So so now so your back is to the door and there are two on the bench facing the staircase, which um and, and the hallway that Angel's taking this guard. I'm gonna actually try and take him all the way to the bathroom. Alright, we'll, we'll do Angel first, Alden. So Angel, you're walking down the dimly lit it's corridor. Simultaneously. Uh, oh, how are you doing today? It's bloody cold up there. You you're right. Uh, just trying to think about killing all those guys, you know. Oh, the the Northmen, that scare the bejesus out of me. You know, but... so, sometimes I wonder, you know, is it even right what we're doing? You know, do you think our cause oh, is just... He, he stops and turns, he's like, I feel the exact same. Something is not right here. I'm a, I'm a Midlander. We're supposed to be keeping these men at bay, not treating with them to kill our king. Exactly. We, I know we swore an oath to the Lord and he's, he's done right by us and he's offered us gold and... and and knighthoods and all that shit, but like, where do we draw the line? I've got a wife and kids. I know, I know. No, we've got to... I gotta be honest. All of that was going on in the wind. I didn't even catch the Lord's name that we're doing this for. I just heard the money. What was his name? Uh, well, our Lord, or, yeah. or the, 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 the. Our Lord? You, you should know our Lord. Nah, I banged my head the other day in his fucking drills. Oh, tell me about it. Well. He is, uh, Philip Eisler. Philip, uh, uh, yeah, I always, for some reason, thought he was called, like, Philip Eyeliner or something. I don't know. <laughs> he, like, laughs and pats you. And as he turns, he slips in the blood. And I'm gonna <laughs> stab him in the throat. 
and he, he slips, lands on his back, and you... Uh, 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 he's panicked as he's looking at you. Uh, what are you licking up our artery? <laughs> so much more. Uh, I'm just going to put my hand over his mouth and stab him a few more times. Okay, I'm going to look around. Do anyone dies. see that? No, no, you're, you're tucked in deeply enough into the corridor. I'm going to open the bathroom door and pull him in with the chef. Uh, what's your strength? Uh, my strength is six. And my Roll. Seven. The body of the chef slides out face first and slams onto the floor. As you're holding this other body, he's like arse in the air just on the floor. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there any tarpauling around? Anything like? No. <laughs> no. This. It's very narrow corridor with multiple toilet stools. <laughs> You've chosen the same one as the last guy. <laughs> All right. Well, I didn't know there were multiple. Um, I'll just start walking back. You just my <laughs> <drop off. laughs> Fuck this. And like turn around. Uh, all right. So, Ryan, and while this is all happening, what what would you like to do? So, I like to make my way to the. Uh... The locked door again. Yeah. Um, and I'd like to try and pick it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, what's uh, do you, uh, like, do you have a pick lock of any kind? What lock door? Have you tried, have, have you just tried opening it? I never said it was locked. Can I, can I try opening it? Isn't there two men there? It opens. What? The storage room door opens. Oh. Okay. Is, is there gun per Can I, can I, yeah, there's, can, there's... I can I sleep in quickly close the door behind me? Yeah, yeah. There's uh, it, it's it's not. Uh, there's no light in there. Uh, okay. Um, can I leave it open a little bit? <laughs> yeah. So the, the like the moonlight and and the light from the men playing uh poker kind of like shimmers, and you see barrels and barrels of stuff. There's and this birds. is directly under where we need it to be. Yeah, yeah. In fact, you can hear like muffled voices from upstairs, and like the feet of the the heavy armored guy just banging around. And okay. And, uh, can I? I want to basically put some of the um, barrels closer to like the side, yeah, the side yeah. nearest to his boat, and then I want to kind of get my knife and kind of break a couple of the barrels. Yep. So, so some kind of spills. Some has gunpowder. Yep. Yep. Uh, some have furs. Some have like um, salted fish and salted pork. This very much is a storage room. Uh, but yeah, you, you you find a couple of dry gunpowder kegs. Oh, uh, once I've done that, I want to then leave and walk out uh, so as you walk out you see Angel coming out of this corridor um, he's now also a bit red uh, the two guys are, are, are like laughing and showing each other something well, the two guys like, quickly like swift past when they're like distracted yeah so you're, you're now at the, the, the base of the stairs Angel you kind of had to cross their eye line what would you like to do are these the two guys by the door that we want to go near You've done the door. Ryan has done the door. They're, the door. they're just by the I'm stairs. They're by the stairs playing poker. <clears throat> I go to Ryan now. We have to kill those guys now because they're going to get suspicious of where everyone else is. How about you I take the one it. on the left and I'll take the one on the right? Okay. Can I, can I, can I sneak back the way that I, <laughs> I was yeah. so I'm like behind him again? And then... You hear like the snoring of men next to you, left, right, and center as you, as you sneak past. The one looks up at you, Angel. Where the hell's Davy gone? Is Ryan in here the other guy? Yeah. I'm gonna be like, bloody Davy. He's gone. I'm gonna try yeah, and like, stab. Gonna the same time. <laughs> so you lean across the table, stab this other guy in the throat, and like hand if, over if, mouth. Yeah, and then the short sword comes out of nowhere and pierces the other guy straight through the back of the head to the table. Uh, poker chips kind of spill. You manage to catch one just before it lands. And all is silent. No one wakes up. Can I carefully can place them? With the face down in the poker, yeah. Do they have non-blood-covered cloaks? Yeah, can we take their yeah. cloaks? <laughs> yeah. Let's get my blood. Right, you still slightly bloody, but less, less obviously, yeah. Okay. okay. So, let's see what's in here. And then I want to try and peek through that door that they were... Uh, so no, 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 no. Can I, can I like, like, just like, kind of tap on my shoulder? It's, it's sorted. We can go. We can leave. I did it. All right. We need to leave quickly. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, as you were saying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, go so with you, you go upstairs onto the poop deck. The two guardsmen are still. Uh, two, the Northmen are still there. Um, 
they're, they're just now staring at you and they again just go like, Ugh. Once again, I don't even know what they're I just keep going. Um, so your patrol route takes you above the captain's quarters once more. You've done like a full lap. Um, there's just piss and blood on the floor, but no one's noticed. <laughs> tremendous, tremendous work by Reiner. Um, and you see the rope hanging off with the two first guards' bodies attached. Alright. Um, uh, let, let, let's go. I'll get Eddie to scout. Um, and while we sail away a little bit, and when they come, I've got a plan and we'll blow up the gunpowder. How the Eddie's, uh. Gunpowder? You say, I still don't understand how you didn't do that. We've got Tom away as well. One of us will both shoot at similar times. We have to shoot at the exact same spot. Boat. One arrow will blow up the boat. The next arrow will blow up the gunpowder. Alright, you seem to know what you're doing. Alright, so just... I'll start heading towards our ship then. Um, so as you slowly descend past the the window... Can I have you a quick now... peek to see if any new yeah. people are in there? Yeah, you can. I'm not peeking, I'm just going down. Uh... So my perception's a 5 and I rolled a 14. As you look through, you now see oh, that the table is full. Nice. There exists a huge, fat mass of a man with an exceptionally square head sitting in the table near the, um, the like, golden frame. His skin is, like, brown and greenish um, and, and pale and extremely grey and pale in certain places as he's just biting and chewing into the skulls of, like, the, the seven heads of children. And he's like drinking from their blood, and you see in front of him like a plate of mass corpses of like limbs and ligaments of babies. And he's just like these massive teeth. He's got these huge lidless eyes. His hands, his fat sausage-like fingers, are covered in jewels and crystals and and wealth. As he's like, ho, 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 ho. how glorious it is to be here once more before you all. Before the coming of the age. Before I hang about he... too long, can I just do a quick span to see, is there anyone else near? Uh, yes, then there is, uh, very similar to the Demon Queen that you fought in, uh, in, uh, Maiden Town. A younger, slender version of her is at the table with the red, um, the red mirror. She's sitting there with, like, this ornate, uh, cloak, but her succubus, like, wings are still present, just tucked in around her. Her tail flicking, her horned head as she stares adjacent to the the, the the Northman. Just to make it clear, I do want to hear a description of everyone I see, but just so you know in your mind, it's a quick yeah, glance, yeah. and I don't want to keep going. Yeah. I don't want to hang yeah. about. Um, yeah. Hey, can I also just say what I'm going to do before this happens? So yeah. while Tom sneak it, that's beeping. I literally want to go down mm -hmm. where I think I put the gunpowder. Mm -hmm. I want to like quickly do a little like. X with my knife Ooh, my, my, sure. my sword sure, and sure. then I'm going to continue going down Clever. sure so then uh, then there is the the Lake Town Philip Eisler who's even more nervous at this table than ever before uh, then there is like this I guess you consider him like a, a more of a troll than a man he's somewhat naked save for some like boiled leather and furs uh, as he sits at the hunched over like on a well, it looks like he's sitting on a child's seat he has uh, two, two almost like the antlers of a of a stag, um, but the leathery skin of a bat. As he's like looking around, kind of keeping to himself, and then at the final mirror, a shade appears of black smoke. Your scar burns slightly as a Narian strides through the mirror to the table the moment he does everyone stops talking and like sits to attention and and and, and like except for the, the young succubus girl an Aryan you see now is, is far weaker than you saw him when he fought uh lunas he looks disheveled uh exhausted almost he like looks around with his one eye purple one when eye, i see him like, help <laughs> I'm not peeking yeah, the he, second he, I gather it's him. And, and then he turns back to the table. I guess we don't see any more. No, we're looking. already peeking. We're not, we're not waiting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I want to start going. Right, as soon as we hit the ship, Does right I want to say to... Uh, I, I want to give uh, Tom away the plan. 
I'm gonna give her an arrow. Hold on, hold on. It is it is mission critical for you to at least hear a little bit. Okay. Your curiosity. Your oh. the DM. Okay. Uh, I I your but I'm not looking anymore. Yeah. I want to listen. It is good you have gathered here. I'm sorry for calling so late before the hour. I trust that your visages were absolute, and everyone like kind of nods. The succubus kind of throws some shade his way, and he, he ignores her as he takes a seat. Philip Eisler, an esteemed noble house. I trust we have your loyalty for the reward I promised. And the, the young lord with, the, with his moustache and pale skin is like, yes, yes, your grace, sir. Truly, I, I, I believe if, if you will return Lake Town and, and my holdings, as well as perhaps Northgard uh, to, my, to, my, to my family name, then, then I will gladly serve in your court, should, should you have me. And an Arian's like, obviously he's only got one arm, so he, he puts his heavy mailed hand on the table, uh, drinks deeply from the, the chalice before him, and then nods his like, white hair kind of tucked in a bun behind his head. Very well. You will be the hammer to our anvil. Should the landing force fail, and like the Northman to his left kind of grunts at that, this ship will offer us a great entrance. Unleash all hell with the cannons while then their ships are at dock. Destroy the man of wars, then turn your guns onto the main gate. That'll allow our men to enter. Am I understood? And Philip's like, Yes. Play that role, and you shall have all you are promised. He then turns to the Northman. Starkador, Harkonnen's death is... distressing for us all at such an hour. However, I trust that you can rule the men in his place. And the one-eyed Starkador grunts leaning on his Dane axe a little bit more as he, as he takes a bite out of this chicken wing or whatever potato in front of him. And Aaron then turns to the uh, the large plump man or man thing. And of you, I trust you've kept your perversions to a base. <laughs> An Aaron, please. I was long, I was here long before you and how long shall I remain? The, th the kings have nothing to fear. I have brought no attention to myself and have risen through the ranks like an angel in flight. And I promise you, no one knows any the wiser. The bridge will fall, but right now it offers us a great distraction. So you shan't have anything to fear. And should your landing be successful, well... I have my hands wrapped firmly around my men as he like cracks the leg of a child and just starts sucking the marrow out of its bones. And Aaron then turns to the succubus woman. And you? She takes her feet off the table and like leans closely, like her fingers to her chin. I want vengeance for my sister. Give me your champions. Allow me to take them. Anarian stops and leans back, drinking once more and then dropping the chalice to the table. No. They are untouchable, you understand that? They are me, for me, and me alone. There were two others. You can take vengeance on them. She, like, leans in closely. Two others. Who? Two women of the Robins. Willow and Clara. And the, the red woman, like, leans in a bit more. I accept, though perhaps you have not heard the news. She looks at the antlered giant to her left. And he, like, nods back at her. There is interesting talk of Marqueth. Mortarion is not here, is he? I can't see him. And Arian, like, swallows his pride. Mortarion was a failure on my part. I thought perhaps, knowing him in a sec in our other lives, he would join me. However, he has his own intentions, and worse so, he has taken one of the Chaos Seeds. Bringing another will not be possible for a while. 
the way is shut. However, his research into these chaos seeds may prove beneficial. And whatever he discovers, well, we can reap the rewards of it. She leans in further. Well, you don't know, do you? Two of your champions are at the borders of our camp. And he has big intentions for one. The Lady Freya will be dead by the fortnight. And he will claim her body, mind, and soul to bring back his wife. And she leans back in her chair with like this smug look on her face. Anarian, twi you see like a flicker of anger twitch in Anarian for a second. How did you come by this news? That is for me to know, and for you to discover on your own. All wise Anarian, the new herald. You should know by now that I keep my secrets to myself, and I have given you this as a gift. If you want your Freya girl to survive, you'd best do something about this Mortarian before he brings ruin to you and your plans. Or perhaps we can see what he can do with his Chaos Seed. And she like sits back in the chair and Anarian stands up and you think for a second he's about to lunge across the, t the table and kill her. Even the Northman is like getting ready to help Anarian. There's clearly some loyalty there. And uh, Philip slides back in his chair slightly. She shakes her head and then like kind of sits back down a bit, a bit intimidated. Anarian looks towards the window and then looks back towards the uh, the antler giant who also swears his allegiance. Good. The attack will begin on the full moon. I will summon the eclipse and Middengard will fall. And from Middengard our staging port will begin. An invasion. No longer do your people have to live in the cold. Rejected by society. Fearing the magic of Middengard. And no longer do our people have to face rapid sense repercussions. Yeah. Yes. Sorry to interrupt. Back, I just thought of a good way to make this work. Is there any chance, because we both wanted to leave the second we got there, could I have put my little earring of all hearing by the window and then left with oh. Rhino so Rhino could still listen and we could have bit sta started going? Very nice. Very nice. Is that very allowed? Nice. Yeah, I know I, it's retro. I will allow that. I will allow that. That's very clever. Okay. Please carry on. So how far are um, we away at this point? Because I just felt like the meeting like was going to end, slowly. but yeah. I want to make sure we still do our plan without it, yeah. just them all leaving. Okay. You're rowing slowly and you hear uh, an Aryan turn. Lunas is dead. The big fat guy's like, oh, an Aldari falls to your hands. Perhaps you are the chosen then. Varus wouldn't have been able to accomplish that. And how, pray tell, did you accomplish that in your predicament? Though I can see he'd left some scars on you. Lunas was not battle-ready and was busy protecting his guests. In truth, it is not him I fear. One more Aldari remains to us, the girl. She is excellent at hiding and I cannot track her down. Oh, I will find her. I have something of hers, after all. The first king has staged this invasion. We must not fail him. In the name of the four kings, you will be my champions. And I, the Herald of Chaos, will become the four. Do we all agree? The first to agree is... Starkador, then the uh, the grunt of the tall giant, then the fat nomad man, and then finally the uh, the succubus who agrees but hesitantly. And with that, Anarian turns. Farewell until the full eclipse. As he strides through, the end. as he. Sorry, sorry. Um, as like obviously the meeting concludes, I wanna. Pumway knows the plan, but we'll have discussed mm -hmm. the plan as soon as I got there. I want to fire my arrow. Well, do we wait till Anarian leaves? Should we, should we wait till Anarian leaves and then, like, kill everyone else? 
I mean, it, that's it probably not a bad idea, it to be honest. It won't hurt him, will it? No, it won't kill him. Right? Although he is injured, so he could injure him more. It's up to you. I can't hear it, so it's up to you. But... Uh, well, we're, we're, we're already set. We're, we're starting to sail away, aren't we? Yeah, point. yeah. Yeah. So we're at a range where we're far enough away. Yeah, but, but he could totally Close enough where we can still shoot. Him, yeah. yeah. Okay, should we wait for a, or wait for an area to leave? Actually, you're the only one who can hear right now. So oh, wait, you, you hit a couple of seconds you hit, after he said You hear an area go quiet and then the mirror shatters behind him. Okay, then I want to fire my arrow. Right so at the X. There's, there's some disgu like discussing going on. Uh, you hear like then like gorging on things. And uh, you're firing your explosive arrow, or regular arrow, sorry. So I give him Tomo an explosive arrow, and yeah. I've got an explosive arrow myself. Mm -hmm. I want to fire the explosive arrow first. Well, in fact, yeah. I'm going to get Tom away to fire her explosive arrow first at the X. Yeah. And then I literally want to leave it like maybe a second, maybe two. Nice. And then I want to fire mine. Like a firework, it soars through the sky, and you just hear this. <laughs> this huge explosion. It's like wood panels, glass shattering. Your ears ring. As Angel's uh, earring explodes, and like you're, you kind of go deaf in one ear, as this like massive amount of wood and just screaming and panicking, this, this horrible groaning as a sail in the distance goes, this like mast collapses. The whole of the, the captain's quarter seems to be engulfed in flame, and like at the top of it smashes open as this tall antler giant starts screaming, like, and throwing himself into the water. Philip Eisler has absolutely been evaporated. Uh, he, he is dead as a doorknob. The, you see, like, the levered wings Don't of a Don't forget, before she flies away, Ryan was going to shoot a second later, so that might hit the yeah. barrels while they're still there. That just, the, most of the barrels have already gone up. That second arrow hits and explodes, and, like, you see the ship immediately start going, like, and, like, tilting to the right. As water just starts flooding into the hull. Did the second explosion get the woman at all? No, no. She she takes flight and like shakes off the fire and and and, and scans the, the ocean. Hidden. Yeah, there's fog. Uh, there, there there's no no word word of the the, the fat guy. The giant we'll is. Like, as soon as we set our eyes, we want to be going quite quickly. Well, we want to see the damage see, like, first. The, you even see like the Northman emerge. Like he's he's just a flame and he's standing there, his axe scanning the crowd. Like this man's like Harkonnen level badass. He, he he's he's one meme of a fucker, and um, they're 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 scanning the, the 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 fog. She lets out this like banshee scream, and like you even see like the clouds begin to change. The, the snow becomes rain, just pissing down. And uh, Aaron's like ah, as he as he falls to his ear. Can uh, I put my hands over ears. his ears while I take the front? Your ears, are, yeah, your ears are screaming. All the crew are like, even the ship starting to turn slightly, and she just starts scanning into the fog, just screeching again and again, like dissipating the fog. Yeah. Can we obviously signal to? Haven't you got the wind benders? Yeah. To uh, move quite quickly and get the sails. Immediately sales they drop the oars and like they start unreeling the sails. So Tomway's ship also has two side sails um, on the left and the right as well. Yeah. And uh, they start opening those and unfurling it. It's a small but quick ship. Um, you can hear like the, ring the ringing of bells and like the gathering of soldiers on the coastline, but they're, they're miles behind you now. Can I this, also, this uh, whilst this is going on, can I? Get out my rainbow, yeah, and fire it away. So, like, if the boat's here, they're there. Mm -hmm. I want to fire it that way, so it will curve around and look like it's coming from a different angle. Oh no! Nice. And I want to okay. fire it at okay. the uh, banshee bitch. So <laughs> these five like blue arrows emerge from different areas, and she's like scanning. Su they all hit her, and she's like shakes them off, and just goes. <laughs> Are like scans where they are like uh, screams at where they've come from, buying you guys some time. Did, um, Suddenly, sorry, I, oh, sorry. did we ever agree on what my alt is at the moment? I just uh, so you, you've currently got your first alt, which is you channel Dash. lightning, yeah. and then when you fire it, you stun them and you can flash between them all. all right. So you you wanted to channel it like Zuko and then fire it out, yeah. And then they they get hit, take damage and stun, and then they're all marked, so you can just dash between them all. Oh hello. Hello. 
Okay. Um, How far up in the sky is she? Uh, she's she's quite quite close to the sea level, to be honest. All right. If can I sort of be like preparing my ult at her yeah. in case I have a in case like she clocks us, then I'll be ready to just be like. Pshh! But I'm yeah, not yeah. gonna do it unless I feel like there's no choice. Yeah. Overwatch ult. Oh, okay. Can I also set up my wind wall mm -hmm. behind, well, in front of the two wind mages? Yeah, yeah. With the theory of when they do their wind magic through the wind wall, it will then propel oh it even God. more. Okay, that's very clever. Gone. I didn't even think of that. So uh, you, you, she's turned now. The, the, it's, the, the heavy rain that she's summoned is kind of ruining the fog, and your ship is because it's hoofing it. She's starting to notice, and she starts flapping her wings and flying on it's over to you guys. We lead her to us. We take her out, and then we go, and we run at least one of them. Two you on think one. We take her out. Fuck yeah. Did I hear anything through his ear? Uh, no, no. Hey, no can we no. just say for I, the you, point? You I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So did I hear the fact uh, that she specifically wants to go Clara and Willow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if yeah, anything, yeah. for the point's sake, it would be I would have given my earpiece to Tom. Well, no, you would. I, I just, was just uh, like, you were just ear to ear. Yeah. Okay. All I need to know uh, is, did I hear that she wants to kill Clara? Yeah. All right. So we got to kill her. Uh, hold on, hold on. As as you're sailing and like she's flying towards you. You hear this like, boom, and the ship shakes, Ooh. and this like hand, this hairy hand, is on the ship, and this creature with antlers pulls itself up, and it's that like, tall giant that you saw, and it like. Can the I do the wind wall trick? Oh, wait, what's the wind wall trick? Oh, what's the so you'll yeah. Propel. So we we'll just fucking go. Oh, hold on a second, that is very clever. Okay, you propel, and he goes and like falls backwards. Un unexpecting as he was lost his balance and you just start hoofing it like she can't even keep up she's flying as far as she can and this it, it, all of you are like struggling um tomway's crew are having to wrap themselves up uh angel who's on wind boots starts flying backwards almost can i hold the ship. somewhere <laughs> yeah like, i still yeah, want to keep my arm on her you, you can you you can throw your chain around the mast if you want and like hold it all right that sounds good. So you and then you're balancing very carefully, very carefully. She, she's trying uh, to go in a straight line. She'll yeah. be like o trying to get us. Only uh, Tom Way's got the helm, and she hold on. Actually, this is far better for this one. This is too intense. I've missed this stress right here of playing this game. <laughs> Tactics. <laughs> Tom Way's got the wheel, and she's like trying to like control the speed of this ship as you. The wind mage is like wind pushing. Reiner's wind pushing. So every so often this boat just gets a boost of speed. You've just left the giant, he can't swim. He can't keep up. She's desperately trying, but even her wings are slowly uh, falling behind. I'm, I'm gonna say to the to the other wind mages, slow down just enough where she can keep up with us, but we wanna keep going, so we like keep dragging her away from everybody else. Yeah. It's at that point Tom was like, what the what the fuck is this? And you see in the water, tentacles start appearing. Oh, and she's like dodgy, laughing and like summoning something. Who's she she's flying. Fly okay, now I want to... Can I... Do I have to do a perception to tell she's summoning or no? Uh, no, it's quite clear that she's channeling some magic. See you later, buddy. I'm going to go... <laughs> and just send my lightning bolt at her. Try So and... it's raining and this massive lightning bolt descends from the sky slamming into Angel as he channels it. And you, Reiner, you see him suck it in. He's got bonus damage now because of the elements are on his side. And he just fires this like lightning bolt out of his two fingers. And it it kind of, at first, it's one solid lightning bolt. And then at the end, it just cracks open into hundreds of little ones. The whole sky behind her just gets lit up by it, like a giant blue firework. And you see her like, like ah, like getting static. And she just, a little burning and mess. can I teleport sense. to her? Ah, okay. As she's falling, you emerge. Your katana and your uh, tanto. I want to try and slice her head off and go, oh, You no. don't touch Clara, you bitch! She's stunned, but able enough to hold your hand. The blade digs straight into her neck, and you, like, half take her head off with your katana. And she's like, Can I? Like, struggling. As we're falling. And, oh, unless Ryan wants to. Can I? Yeah, please. I don't have a siege bow at the moment, do I? No. Can I grab Tom away's siege bow, yeah. tie a bit of like rope to the arrow, mm -hmm. and then fire it at them? But bear in mind, that's going to take a little bit of time, so Tom will probably get another action in between that. 
Okay, what's your... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a tricky shot. Give me a dex. Okay, I'll give you a dex. Oh, that feels cool. To 11. Do my <laughs> right, mine is 14. Uh, you got 11, did you say? Yeah. Uh, yeah, eat with ease. So, this, a this arrow is slowly uh, ascending into the air with rope. And, like, the rope piles going... Like, slowly uh, getting unraveled. Angel, she, her tail's, like, trying to wrap its well way around your neck. And she's, like, holding you from severing her head. You see below you this, like, massive kraken appear. Oh, no. This huge mouth. And it's, like, <laughs> all these horrible teeth, all these tentacles are, are slowly trying to collapse in around you. As she's, like, trying to grab you and pull, her, pull you both into it. Are we it. still in the sky falling? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I use... Your cloak is just going... Billowing behind you, all your hairs brushed back. Uh, I'm gonna. So I've got my tento like this. Yeah. Okay. I'm your katana's gonna... in her in her neck, so your long oh, okay. sword. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm falling in like that. Okay. I'm just trying to get my yeah. bearing. So, which side is my blade on that same hand? Basically, yeah. totally. Shit. Okay. I'm gonna go like swap hand, and then yeah. I'm gonna lightning punch with the blade through her heart. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Awesome. I don't know why I have to roll. Uh, give you? me a uh, give me a dex, just a dex. I'm such a bad roller, I always have been. You're still charged with lightning, so we'll skip a wisdom. Do I get the advantage? Uh, yeah, you, you, I'll give you a plus two. Oh, it was still shit. I've got um, oh, no. dex. Did you say it was wisdom? Uh, no, no, just to do a dex one, I'll give you a free wisdom there, because you are. Uh... Dex, I have nine, and I rolled a three. That's pretty oh, shit. Oh, that's a five. Uh, well, you're still going to hear. Impossible okay. to I guess miss at this point. Yeah, point blank. I guess I would yeah, roll so... poorly flying through the air. <laughs> yeah, your, your lightning fist just explodes through her stomach and out the back. And she lets out this agonizing scream as she just puts her foot in you and kicks you off of her. There goes to the point where her, your, sword, your sword goes like... Pfft. Yeah, you're deaf. You're kind of deafened, but you, you're pulled back. This sword slicing through her. Is there any chance? Your hand, oh, yeah. covered in blood, rips out of her stomach. All these, like, this black blood is just spilling out of her as she falls towards the Kraken. She's falling towards the Kraken. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, now, is look, that rope heading towards me? Yeah, yeah. You see it, and it, like, flies right next to you. All right. Can I try and grab it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll the dex. Uh, so I rolled 12 and I've got a dex of 9. Yeah, that's fine. Just. So this, uh, as you're falling, you're like, fuck, you got your two sword, your, you know, your long sword and your, your yeah. dagger out. You're like, the fuck am I going to no, do no, this I, arrow? I, just, I, this oh, rope no. appears. Uh, you grab it, and at that point, Tamo is like, now! And uh, Reiner and the two wind mages punch once more, so like, the rope gets sucked back, and the Kraken hands just miss you as she descends into its mouth and disappears. And you're like sucked right, you, the tentacle like slicks past you. You know, you're drenched in water as all this is kicking up all this ocean spray. <laughs> and you go face first into this freezing cold water being dragged, holding onto the Obviously, rope. Can the boys yeah. start to pull him like, in? Only, only it's like, ah, It's just like, <laughs> And you're just like getting buffeted over and over again, just holding onto your weapons. Uh, can I try and shoot? Like yeah, yeah, you're sheathed, you, you, you're holding it, yeah, yeah. You're sheathed easy enough, and you, you're dragged up, you're soaking wet and shivering as only grabs you, and suddenly this, like, massive whirlpool appears, with this massive whirlpool with this purple flame embedded into it. Tomway is trying to hold onto the wheel and pull up, pull yourselves out of it, but something's sucking you in. And it's this, this, this small portal you can see emerges, and it's channeling all this, like, black smoke, all the water's falling through it. And landing, um, and just about both of you, as you lean over, like you're being thrown left to right, you look down and you can see this like white city with this green flame and all these soldiers fighting, and like you're, the water's kind of splashing all over them as the boat begins to tip and tip and slowly the back burst. Tommy's like, hold on, brace, 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 and like everyone's like hooking themselves to the ship. Uh, Oni's holding you and, and, and grabs Reiner and holds the mast. Can I as the do a of... look to see if what might be creating this? Is there anyone summoning uh, her? You have no idea. All well, you know is purple flame black and like black smoke. Well, we got to get off. We don't want to go down, right? You're in the middle of the ocean and yeah, sucked through this portal. There's like a second 
and you just land in the water and like the ship re reset and recorrects itself you're all rocking you're kind of all thrown back and forth weapons like spread across you're all panicked and like oh one of the crew members just goes and like vomits and it's like this calm save for the fact that this massive battle happening before you this white city there's this one tower in the white city and there's this massive green light shining from it like a beacon spreading the, the the storm you're um you're in the middle of like this courtyard on this uh in this no no sorry not the courtyard you're in, you've landed on the docks and but like the i say docks all of it's destroyed uh there are a ton of viking boats here uh or the reichsguard vessels so they're like uh have this weird bird um statue on all of them and there are people uh silver tree members you'll you'll recognize angel uh, fighting these like um, Viking warriors, there are uh, dwarfs there as well, also fighting, and you see some elves fighting in the distance. Oh, well, Sandy! I'm gonna like, panically look around to see if there's any sort of like stuff we were just near. Is there like tentacles? No, just the the, the portal closes and like just some fish fall for it. Uh, can, can I like also like look around and like oh, hold out the fish? <laughs> Say that yeah, again. Just... So I, I would be like looking around, but like holding out the fist, be like right. fist bumping. Oh, fist bumping me! Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna with the other hand be like trying to get my Jeffrey cloak. Sort of wrap yeah. around. The lips are like going blue. These these warriors, no one has any idea where you've come from, and like the the, the lines of a typical military fight are just completely lost here. And you begin to see why, because there are the undead just fighting. So some some dwarfs are fighting undead. Some dwarfs are fighting back to back with Reichlanders, some dwarfs are fighting Reichlanders. It's all chaos. And in the distance, like, you, you suddenly see another purple portal appear. And running through it is Scribbles, Lulan, uh, and an unknown, a man, like, really tall man dressed all in bandages and a cloak. Do as well as Timmy. Look like they're running with purpose, or like they yeah, know they're, they're supposed they, to be going through the portal. They're trying to escape something. Sorry, I might have misheard you. Are they running into this fray or out of it? They're running into the fray, escaping right. something behind them. Okay. They they also are confused where this portal's come from, and it closes behind them. Right. There's like an awkwardness where it's like you guys see each other from across the, the battle. Uh, Hestia like emerges from the deck, and she's like, Aah! and that's where we end. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna turn to Angel and say, well, I'm gonna turn to the whole crew and be like, out of the fry pan into the fire. Like, jump <laughs> off the ship to go into the fire. <laughs> uh, none of the crew except Tom Boy and, and uh, a bit of only and a bit of um, uh, Nori or whatever his name is speaking, uh, common tongue still like, oh. On that, the crew on that like, line, I piss myself after <laughs> holding it in that whole time. <laughs> And that's where uh, we leave it to the Battle of Marquette. So you're now slightly in the future of what's about to come for Voltrum and uh, Freya. Oh. I'm sick. Yeah, that well was played. Cool. Well played with the rope. That was a good roll. And it's 10 13. Oh. I want to play more. Uh, I told you it was only a little bit left. Oh, I, I thought it was going to be a lot more. If we had gone from the other day, I, I was ready to have a full-blown, like, fight. Yeah, you successfully, and very, very well done to you both, have destroyed one of their plans to break the gates down at Midgard. With the ship? Yeah. That, that ship, basically their plan was to park that ship, uh, pretend to be, still be loyal, and then when the Viking, or when the Northmen start to arrive, fire all the guns and just destroy the other man of wars while they're docked and right. then turn and destroy the main gate so you've officially uh increased the defense of Midgard by uh, allowing them to yeah. keep their fleet i like the fact that anarian's like good meeting shuts the door i <laughs> sent something wrong in the force <laughs> <laughs> oh i was it, it a good it call to wait until he left yes yeah, considering what happened, we will be fucking... Yeah. But you've left Death. me with questions. Why is the portal? Where did that come from? Why did it take us oh. here? Was... I had a oh. question from the chat. Wow. 
the small fish that fell through, was it small or was it something the size of a tuna? These are all questions. Uh, very, it's very, very chance. No, it's someone I don't know. It's um, a very small fish. It wasn't a kraken sized fish. I thought small, yeah. Mm. And that kraken, yeah. was that being summoned by the witch woman or was she summoning the portal? Uh, she summoned the kraken. Or at least controlled it. Well, what I would surmise that she got eaten by it. <laughs> is uh, this other being who Anarian is scared of would probably be the one to summon the portal. Mm. Well, I believe that she's probably the next one that we need to find. The other one that he uh, Narin's scared of, so you know you have the gods. Oh, the your three kings. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Yes, yes. Do you mean the, the Aldari, the girl yeah, Aldari yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't find? So out of all the Aldari, uh, she's the last alive because you watch Lunas be killed by an Arian. Yeah. Uh, Solace is long since dead, um, and two are missing: Noctus and um, Fastus, or whatever I called him. But so, I would yeah. assume that it was her that opened the portal. Maybe, yeah. You've actually met her. Uh, Have we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's it, it, she's very good at disguise. She's not a, not a character you've spoken to, but you've seen her. It's time she's to a child when it danced. It was like a it was like a single moment where you were like, "I'm lost," and then like someone points the way. That was her. Who who was lost? You guys were. You guys were lost at one point. Oh, as a group. Yeah. Search the archives. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's, she's often camouflaged as herself quite well. Oh, that's sick. Don't give us too many spoilers. No, no. Um, there's there's so much there for you guys them. to unpack that it's like, like tons of information to come. I got, I got a question of things that just couldn't yeah. be asked as I was in the moment. Mm. Being booted away from that woman, and I when I pulled it out, did it look like she died or was dying or still alive as she fell into that thing? Because she must oh, have been alive been, would, enough to push me away. Yeah. yeah, she kicked you out. Uh, she kicked you off of her. Uh, she definitely was in a bad way because as she kicked you, your katana still drove all the way back through her. Yeah. Um, and as did your lightning-based hand in her stomach. So yeah. I don't know. If and she then died, she fell into a kraken. Yeah. Which kraken. she was aiming. She was aiming to pull you into. So. Shit, so that she would have been fine going in there yeah. as well. mm. I don't think the Kraken's on her team. I think she, like, might Who's the one that summoned it. the Kraken? Yeah, but she's, like, a beast controller, maybe, rather than, like, they're a duo. I, mean, I love I, I loved that idea, um, uh, Max, for the wind wall. And just I timing it. So, <laughs> such a beast, and he's like... My god, this guy's gonna be hard to fight. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> um, he's swimming like this huge, giant, hairy beast, like swimming across the ocean. The moment he gets on, he just gets absolutely knocked off. It's very clever. Well done. Well, we great. defeated one boss today. One boss is dead. Yeah, Philip Eisler. Lord Philip the Eisler. <laughs> the nerd. The easiest yeah. one to kill. <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, you blew him and his traitorous brethren to pieces, so... Even though his traitorous brethren did not want to be traitorous brethren. Well, only one did. <laughs> only one did. And, and he, he slipped, slipped two liters no. of The blood. only one that I actually asked. That that almost got so fucked up. If any, I was rolling to see if anyone would wake up. And I was like, if a if hundred people wake up now, like, what the fuck are they going to do? That like, whole oh. chef toilet thing is classic ass. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. We fight five demon gods, like, great, but one sh <laughs> one chef. That's so the like trouble. Hey right, guys, guys, stop having sex in there. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Slam his head into the wood, slides down. You've got his, your fucking dagger in his, like, artery in his leg. <laughs> Just so much blood everywhere. We're always reaching for like we need something that can cover people's mouths better than just always our hands. The cup <laughs> yeah. taking a slingshot, just like <clears throat> Yeah. Oh man. That's so fucking uh, funny. Good. The new alt's it. cool. Yeah. I mean, I, that was a really awesome way to do it. And then it's Shot your bonus. Gun. Your bonus because of the rain as well. Weather bonus. Pokemon weather yeah, bonus. Yeah. And then just flashing up towards her, and then she's just like, "What the?" When you just stat like fucking hacked at her head, it's yeah, cool. R.I.P. Yeah. My my earring. Yeah. Uh, 
it was worth it because I had a vibe. A if we didn't leave and we listened to the whole meeting and then we tried to get away, we wouldn't get to blow them all up. So your uh, your next well, objective no, is uh, your next objective is if you got to get to Freya. We proved something else. Oh, yeah, sure. Anarian did not sense us, or if he did, he pretended not to notice. Mm -hmm. So that's good enough. We did look at the window at one point. Not that we even know that. Yeah, I, he, mm. he did a suspicious I know you're there look. Mm. Um, but the other thing we learned from that meeting is that he doesn't want us to die yet. So in clutch mm. situation, we kill ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> then the, his plan's ruined. Yeah, see you later. Need me, huh? <laughs> I mean, or we could just let Freya die. That's a quite renegade. <laughs> that's, that's Worst renegade. timeline YouTube videos. Yeah. Killer! That'll stop an Arian's plan. That'll be fine. <laughs> so Mortarian's got his own plans for us, so uh Operation Rescue Freya begins. I know. Uh, don't know not, who, um, we don't know who he is character. at all, our character. No, no you, yeah, your characters don't at all know. It helps that I also don't know. What the fuck? That was so scary. Why did you. She, Laura just appeared. She said. Like down there. Did oh, you see that? Yeah, I see oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> but, but she went. She went Ooh. Why yeah. did you make a noise? She's in a primal defensive state. Sorry, what did you say? Oh, well, that's none of your business, Lion. That's a uh, fray I'll have to find that out the hard way. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you've got a very limited time window there to save her. <laughs> She's gone. Right. She's right. gone. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, so... I need a cup of tea. Op operation save. Mm. Oh, man. I'm pooped after that. That was... That was dramatic. That was, good. That was, that was a yeah. fucking cool ending to it. So fucking badly. Yes. Yes, and it almost did. In so many ways. You, you teetered on the line of that. Uh, oh, apparently... Apparently my That's ASOS has arrived an hour ago outside my door, so I'm going to go get my parcel. Uh, what was your favourite bit for Adam's sake? Oh, hundred percent. Uh, the the a the toilet disaster of just <laughs> how how wrong that went, and b you f uh, angel falling and like like trying to kill this girl in the air, and this arrow just appearing, you grabbing it, and then slowly as the kraken's arms are like you are like just about. I, I imagine you're about ten feet away from its mouth as its arms are enclosing like a flower, and you just whizzed holding this arrow through it. You saved my butt from kraken being a kraken oh. food. Crackalackin. Yeah, what's crackalackin? Yeah. And also, crazy. actually, no, also, Reiner's piss with just the uh, <laughs> rolls nat 20. Just... <laughs> that was the best roll of the game to unnecessarily mad, piss. <laughs> Absolutely mad dogging as well. Like, not not even like, you know, when you're in the urinal, you're like, oh, fuck, yeah. there's someone behind me. Just. <laughs> Reiner won today. Yeah, My to the point where it's going, like, splashing in your boots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Angel gets this ridiculously cool right, moment. Just barges through him like, I'll fucking do it then. Angel gets this ridiculously cool moment, and then it ends with just, oh, <laughs> it finally pierces. God, three sees this war. Oh. All right, boys, I'm going to go. Okay, thanks All for right. the game. That was fucking sick. Very yeah. good session. Well played, both of you. Thank you. Thank Not you. long to the meetup now as well. Yeah. When are we meeting up? Uh, well, we need to do Marquette. Uh, first, so do I need to gather Ben and Tasha? Is, is Big Rod and Little Rod and uh, not... what happened there? Actually, it might, it might be in the next one. To be fair, I know Ben's in yes, a different country I, I... Uh, at the moment. Yeah, I, I think they're in the stealth. Oh, the, yeah, they'll be there for like half an hour before the stealth team breaks up. Okay. Um, so whether or not they find it worth it or not. All right, well, uh, but set, I'll, pl set a I'll, day I'll plan all that, and we'll see. If... Yeah. I think both of them, oh. not to speak on their behalf, but because they're both part-time players, I think if they can't yeah. play, they are happy for you to, like, NPC control them. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've definitely planned for moments where you'll run past them. Okay. For example, you'll see them in the background. So, um, cool. All right, thanks All right, for the game. Boys. Good night. GG. Bye. See you. Um, that was very cool. <laughs>